Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Depressed Hero, and this is Larmith of Toho 2. Alright, uh, some changes. Uh, one thing, I went ahead and dropped Kamachi. Uh, she really wasn't really doing much besides just giving me extra money through her passive. Um, and I could never really get her to... Her instant death mechanic, unfortunately, was not as useful as I would hope for clearing out floors and things like that. Um, and as an alternative tank, I don't really need one, to be honest. Um, really, I just need to make Ma Rebellion mailing just be able to survive, and I'll probably get another character that's going to be tanky anyway in the future. So I uh, went ahead and dropped her, reset all of her stuff, um, and then I went and grinded for a bit. Um, I did look up some stuff on the wiki. Um, I got a lot of my boss types mixed up. Um, some of the... I, I called some of them dimensional bosses when they weren't, and and vice versa. So the boss that we're having trouble with is not a dimensional boss. He's one of the f it, it's one of the four bosses I need to clear to get to get the uh, one of the switches on 421. And uh, the dimensional bosses is what we need to unlock the remaining characters in the base game. So the only thing is, the only way you can get to those dimensional bosses is by clearing out enhanced bosses. So we need to kill our, clear out enhanced bosses, which means we need to go and deal with that lotus that we were having, the blue orchid that we were having trouble with earlier. Um, so I did do some grinding because since I dropped Kamachi, that did allow me to give me a little bit more room, breathing room for my level average. So got it back up to 122. It's actually much higher than that. I did like a, I did like 180 battles straight on 420, which got me a lot of money and a lot of experience. So um, I can. I, what I did is I de-leveled some characters that I don't intend on using too much in the upcoming battle, uh, down to 160, and that kind of balanced out everything a bit. Uh, the issue with Blue Orchid, of course, is the fact that it has insane defenses, and the way it works is every turn it loses a little bit of defense and M defense. Um, it has 200,000 of both stats, and I think it loses about 10,000 per, per action. And then, of course, it blasts us with a bunch of nasty AoEs. Uh, so you either have to endure until its defenses get low enough that you can blow it to pieces, or you need some sort of way of bypassing it, its defenses, which I don't really have in this uh, party. Uh, the only character that can do any sort of piercing is Sakya. Um, it is vulnerable to dark, and Sakya's single target is a dark type, so I did kind of increase her um, attack level to like 400, uh, which got her caught up with um, more of the standard attackers, so I'm hoping that might give her enough to actually start doing some damage. Uh, but that's not going to really matter if she can't tank the hits in the first place. Um, I can use Ryzen, Ryzen to go ahead and uh, debuff the boss a little bit. You, uh, you can debuff everything except for its defenses. Um, its defenses uh, debuff it, resistance is completely maxed out, so you can't actually cheat that way. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and dive in and see what happens. So, 4-6. Nope. Alright, let's see what the, if we can pull this off. Alright, uh, one thing I did learn uh, with Mei Ling is the, uh, the ability that gives a 20% chance at the start of battle to start out with maxed uh, ATB bar, which is that proc for Sine, which is actually helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and use that right now, get Sakya up and running. Now the question is, is can I actually do damage? Yes, not a lot, but I can do a little bit. And she was fast enough to actually go ahead and start blasting, so let's go ahead and do that. Keep blasting. Get your defenses up. Okay, that did pretty d nasty damage, but it wasn't enough to... enough to kill, so that's good. I forgot, it's not every turn, it's only every like three turns or something that will actually debuff itself. But that's okay. Alright, you're just gonna not do anything here. Um, I'll swap you in and see what happens. Okay, well at least it missed race and that's good.
That's my stats. Okay, let's keep going. Let's not risk you. Uh, I'm okay with trying to throw away Patch Ollie here, so let's do that. Okay, yeah, her magic defense is high enough. Let's go ahead and get your stats up so you can actually tank the hits a little bit better. Oh, and in perspective, um, with its 200,000 defenses, um, I'm, my highest attacker is Nidoray, and she only floats around 60,000 attack. Okay, keep those debuffs going so she can survive the, on the onslaught a little bit better. Heck of a chain attack there, nice. bad. Unfortunately, physical attacks don't do much here. I'll do it anyway. Okay, I'm actually able to do damage now, so that's good. Alright, good. Protection gem, energy gem, always nice. Okay, so that one's taken care of. I'm not going to level up, because I'm going to have to figure out what the next level boss is anyway. Uh, four, seven. Didn't mean to do that, that's okay. I just need to check the level and then I'll adjust from there. 124. So this will be that annoying plant boss. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, let's level up Petroli. One twenty-three. Good enough. I'm not sure if I'll have an opening to actually use petrol, but it'll be nice if we could. So the only thing that's annoying is the requirements to get these characters and those bosses to get those characters is that do all the enhanced bosses, which of course have a wide range of levels. And then you'll have to end up going back to down a levels to deal with the other bosses on the um, the, the new areas. So it's just kind of annoying to, to handle one way or the other. Okay, so you're probably going to spawn something annoying. Do your thing, that's fine. I really want to do Levitian, but that's not really a wise option. So 
So I'm not sure if I can survive a hit from the minions. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Alright. There we go. Still alive, good. Yay, one damage. Alright. Another one down, some more gems. Okay, cool. Uh, nothing else on this floor. Floor 8. Uh, nothing here. Or nine. Lock chest and that's it. Nothing here. I mean, I know where some of them are from in the higher floors, but I don't know about these upcoming ones. I don't think there's any in the deserts. Oh, that's where I just came from. Uh, floor 11? Uh, definitely not. Okay, floor 12. Okay, nothing here. Okay, floor 13. Pretty sure there's definitely not one here. There's not. I'm fairly certain there's none on, on the fire floors either. But I will look around regardless. Nope, there is one. All the way there, huh? Alright, floor 14 does have one. I almost didn't see it. Uh, should be east. Level 126. All right. Ah, uh, yes. I don't really remember much about this boss, but I'm gonna hit it very hard. Alright, well, over a million damage. Good, good. Back up, no surprise there. Okay, it's gonna blast me soon. Actually, you should be able to tank this. Pretty sure this is not going to do anything. Yep. You're just out to take a hit for me.
All right. Uh, retry. I actually want to max out the speed. <laughs> There we go. All right, speech rats. Kill it before kill it before it kills you. All right. So that was four fourteen. Fifteen. It's boss here as well. So, center. Level 128. Alright, stick with what we have and see what happens. I yep, I remember you. It's going to hit me before I can do anything. This is gonna hurt. Uh, yep. Yep, that's pain. That is a lot of pain. Debuff. Maximize your buff. Okay. That went as expected. It's not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the good news is I can get Nidorade to actually to be able to tank a hit. <laughs> Thank you. 
bad news is everything else. The other bad part is I don't actually have enough, um... I don't have enough MP to actually, uh, endure all this. So let's level up everybody. Let's see where that puts our level average. I think it's what, 128 is where I can be at. I think this is going to put me higher than that though. Me at 130. So let's see level Patchouli because she's not going to be useful here. She's too slow. Okay, 129. We'll go ahead and de level Yuka. D-level... Uh... Flandre. Perfect. So that was actually pretty significant, because like characters like Mei Link were down 20 or so levels, so this will give us a little bit more punch. Alright, so formation, let's do... Maybe something like this. Nidori can buff herself, Sine will buff Ryzen, Romilia will buff her herself, and Sine can just tank a hit or two. Because we just need to be out long enough. I wanted to be able to throw out debuffs while blasting away. Unfortunately, this does mean we don't have the chance of going first now, but that's okay. Alright, so 128, 128, so let's do this. God, you're fast. Alright. there. Hey, Melee. Uh, okay, so she can't tank that. Good to know. No, don't double it. Well. God, just a one shot. Yeah, I don't have an answer for you. There we go. 
I'll try one other thing. So first things first. Can we make you a little bit better at taking physical damage? Where are you? So that was very expensive. But if I can keep her alive, then all the better. Alright, and then formation. back to this one later with a different setup. That did help out a lot. It used up a lot of money, but now it's only doing, you know, 12,000 instead of 18,000. Bad part is, um, it's too fast. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do this to heal everybody. Doesn't it heals a percentage, so it's not the best, but it's better than what I had. Back to full. Uh, okay, your defensive stats are holding, so that's fine. Oh my god, one shot. Alright. Its buffs are gradually wearing off, but it's gonna rebuff soon. damage. the strat. Just a... 
if it rebuffs, I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, damage. Okay. There's no buffs left, so I may rebuff now. I don't remember if it did rebuff in the previous fights. Okay. Yep, there it goes. Buff up as much as you can and pray. Oop, I didn't mean to do consecrate. Uh, I don't know what you just hit me with. But it didn't do anything, so I'll, I'll count myself lucky. Yep, there's the massive damage again. Just buff up. Maximize your stats. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Alright. Oh my god, why do you always attack the back row? Oh, so close. Yeah, the problem is, is, uh... Occasionally, it'll just do a random melee attack in the into the back into the fourth slot, and if you can't survive that, uh, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, what's your fizz resist? Eh, 220 is not terrible, but it's not enough to survive it. Your defense is just not that high. All right. Well, we'll call it here, and uh, we'll figure something out later. So I'm the Depressed Dero, this is Lambert of Toho 2. I'll see you guys later.